Earlier I talked to you guys about how to use words and phrases to create equations and expressions. Now I'm going to tell you about how you can use words and phrases to create what are called inequalities. And there's four different scenarios you're going to run into really. It's going to be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So let's take a look at each. If you see words or phrases such as greater than or more than, you're going to use the greater than symbol. The issue that I see a lot is how do I know what the greater than symbol looks like? So here's a hint that I've seen is, is pretty helpful for a lot of students that I've taught in the past. They like to look at it as an alligator's mouth. And the alligator wants to eat whatever is greater. So if you have the open side or the mouth open toward whatever is greater, that's what it's gonna look like. So if you have an example like Bob has more than Tom, you're gonna write it as Bob greater than symbol Tom or B greater than symbol T. Just make sure the alligator's mouth is facing B. If you see a phrase uh, that says less than, then you're going to use the less than symbol. That's really about all you're going to see with that. So if you see Sue has less than Joe, you can use S for Sue, J for Joe. You're going to write S is less than J. What I like to look at with this is that I look at the symbol as like an arrow where the arrow will point to whatever is less than. So if you're drawing that symbol, you want to make sure that arrow points at the S. If you see a phrase that says at least, that means you're going to have greater than or equal to that amount. So if you, if you see a phrase that says will has at least $5, you would write it as W is greater than or equal to 5. Just make sure that alligator's mouth is facing toward W. If you see something that says no more than or at most, that means you're not going to have any more than that. You're going to have less than or equal to that amount. So if there's a phrase that says Brian has no more than $98, Brian has less than or equal to $98. You're going to want to make sure that arrow is facing toward B or whatever letter you choose to represent that. So B less than or equal to 98. So when you're looking at inequalities, just remember alligator likes to eat what's most. The arrow points to whatever is less. Hopefully this helps out. Good luck. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.